Good morning, guys. Well, welcome to today. We are outside. It's a blizzard, and we're going to the bar. And there's a new zoning. Yeah. And we don't have a car. And my car's gone. This is my new Converse. Yeah, why didn't I bring that whole package of treats? Whatever. We can get them away. Oh my god. Um. Yeah. Park it in the garage, he says. It'll be easy, he says. You won't have to clean it, he says. Meanwhile, he does not understand that we have, like, we carry all the stuff when we're going in the morning. Look at me. This is how you open this. It's too hard to do this, so I put my foot under it, and then I lift it up. It'll be warmer, he says. Half tobacco. Yeah, this is not fun for me. This is not fun. Gabby's like the spotter. She's like, I'll be inside. I'm the spotter. I'm like, don't be out there. I don't want to run you down. I don't see her. She's on. She said close to the All right, guys. I see her. She's like. Wish us luck. You think I can just go straight back? She said, come on. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Oops. No, Gabby says it's okay. <laughs> the girls are. Whoa, baby! Nailed it! What will I ever do without kids? You guys can never leave home. <laughs> Thanks, girly! Um, I put my door up. Um, so I um, put my foot under the door because um, I uh, didn't want it to slam shut. Yeah, I'm a slammer. I'd just be like, let's go. at the vet or no you're not at the vet we're at the barn but you know what's crazy this is how organized I am um <laughs> he's close to the gate basically um they can never give us an, a, a time for the vet because if there's emergencies then it's gonna mess up his schedule so they have to phone you they have to phone you first thing in the morning so I asked them like when's the earliest appointment we're gonna get and she was like 8 a.m. So we got in the car and we got here for 8 a.m. Just because like you never know. So then when we got here, there was a message on my phone. I don't know how I missed it. And he wants us to be here at 8 a.m. So oh, lucky. He's looking at her. You are a pill, I swallow it. Take me away to Neverland. What colors fade my disbelief? Make me forget my remembering Rent a car you can't afford Put on a song that we both know Let your hair out in the wind Put the pedal to the floor Flame your light and take a smoke Put your broken rip off Wait for his arm Doesn't matter if the sun goes down We'll still be up, still be up Don't care about the place we found We'll still be up, still be up We're in this together We both fall down doesn't matter if the sun goes up Cause we will still be high when the lights are She ran off, didn't she? Mm -hmm. You're okay, Mr. Storm. Mm 
so he did just get his shoes off recently a couple weeks ago okay. and um it was nice and soft and muddy out and um he left his hooves a little long are ready to go but uh gabby needs to like moisturize her horse's tail because you yell at me every day after yeah i, don't I do i'm always I like put something on his tail you need hold to do gloves. this hold my gloves <gasps> warm them up there storm he has hands so uh vet felt <laughs> like he had mixed um, a mixed opinion. He said that um, he seems dull and definitely something could be off. Uh, the blood work is going to tell. Anyways, they um, process it in house, so we'll know this afternoon. He said that if he did tie up or is in the process of tying up, that can be due to anything. Uh, he gave me a couple of different situations, like if he's in pain, and he does keep having this back pain thing. Um, and it gets like more prevalent as time goes on until he gets adjusted like he's been saying and um so that was in effect the other day and our lesson went really long it's never ever happened before he's not used to that that's not something that's ever like we, i say gabby rides him for 30 minutes when we don't have a lesson and that could be like more like 15 minutes like often she never rides him hard she never rides him long um even when she jumps him not in a lesson she hardly jumps him like two or three jumps and she's done so he wasn't Sometimes used to we ride for an hour, but we walk for an hour. So. Yeah, like he he's not used to rides like that. So he said it could have been the ride, it could have been his diet, it could have been because he was having pain. But definitely now that he said all those things, I'm like, oh, like all those things were in effect on Monday. Like it wasn't a regular day for us or for him. So we're gonna see, we're gonna know by today, and I'll keep you guys informed. Do horses like coconut oil? Stella like coconut oil. Yep, she says she does. <laughs> what? Oh, look, he's keeping them on. Yeah, he's like, I'm so cold. I'll put my blanket back on. I'm warming up my ears. Everyone loves coconut oil, too. Uh, this is our coconut oil bottle. It's massive. Probably lasts us the life of our horses. All right, let's see if Storm likes coconut oil. Do you want it? Do you want it? Like, thank you. When we bought that coconut oil, I was thinking like, oh, we'll take it home and I'll take some of it out for like my coffee and, and we'll take some of it to the barn. And yeah, I got to the barn so fast and a dog came along and licked the top of it. And I was like, yeah, you guys can keep it, keep it all. She puts it in the top of his tail. Uh, his blanket ripped again. The loop is gone. I have extra loops at home. Um, so I had to just sew one side of it today. Yeah, this side. Yeah. And I'll bring a loop next time, cut all this off, and then cut all this stitching off, and then I don't judge you guys. Yeah, can you try and sew with from frozen? Try and and sew with frozen fingers. Um, this is what we've been using on our horse's blanket. It says protects wraps and blankets. Um, it's got like cayenne pepper in it, and makes horses not like the taste of the blanket. I feel like all horses look a little dull first thing in the morning before they've had their full breakfast. You need some coffee, okay? But he does, I don't know. I just, feels like he's been slowing down lately. So we're gonna find out, right? We're gonna find out if you're just playing us or if you need some help. You need some help? Yes, he said yes. Oh, he said no. Did you guys see that? He said no. When you have coconut okay, oil. Okay, not too much coconut oil because it can make just them. Just one last bite. It can make, she's like, give it to me. <laughs> it can have, it can make. Just, too much oil is not good, but a little bit is okay. Just raise it up now. Just raise it up. Don't tease her. <laughs> I know tease I'm her, girl. Yes. And we got more carrots. I'll just spray it near the strap. No, I'm spraying it. Mom, don't spray it. Don't spray it. <coughs> oh, it's gross. <laughs> All right, we are out. So before I talk to the vet, Oh, that spray. We should spray that outside from now on. Gabby got it in her eye. It doesn't smell, but then it makes you cough. Yeah. Oh. Daydream, chase the thrill. Make up the way as we go. And it's a blizzard. Before the moment, lose control. Rent a car you can't afford. Put us on that we both know. Let your hair out in the wind. Stay here away.
wait. That's a girl. She almost bit me. Okay, well then we can't do that anymore because I do not want any almost biting of fingers happening. That's mama mode you just heard. Bye bye, honey. Bye bye. Wait, I didn't give her a hug. Ew. <laughs> Ew. A lot of slobber. There will be a kiss over there too. We are driving home in a blizzard. Y'all should know that I braved a blizzard for storm. I braved a blizzard for storm. Anyway. No, it was not snowing. When we but I knew it was going to be snowing worse. And it, it, the weather, the roads aren't awesome. But anyway. Um, okay, so this is how I explained it to me. I know I already told you guys, but basically, um, any horse that goes from, he can have, he, he, you can tie up from being in pain, and any horse that goes from like a regular steady amount of work, boom, 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 which is what he gets, to all of a sudden working so hard. They call it Monday morning disease. I read that and he told me. Um, because horses are like, relax, relax, relax on the weekend, and boom, so much work, and yeah, like, it was a really grueling lesson and yeah that won't ever happen again so um yeah i think we'll we'll know because we'll know but before we got here i didn't think that it really was true like i didn't really think that it was possible because he didn't seem i don't know it's hard to explain but i knew there was something anyway yeah we'll find out today i thank god for you guys i thank god for any every single one of you guys that give us an opinion or tell us something because Honest to God, you guys have saved our butts so many times. This together, we both fall down. Doesn't matter if the sun goes up. Cause we will still be high when the lights out. Sorry, Sam. Couldn't do it. Can't park in that garage. But, yeah. Uh, so, on last week's um, Flashback Friday... Some of you guys um, were wondering what the heck happened to those baby squirrels that we have. Well, um, they're here. They're still here. It's been a couple of years, and how we tell that they're here? And yeah, they're here. They, they are here. Come back. <laughs> There's even footprints. Can you put that in the recycling? Yeah, our recycling got a little messed up while we were away. They live in that tree there. They have had babies upon babies. And what's really cool about our baby squirrels is that they still come up to us. One of them, one of the one of the girls, we had two girls and a boy, I think. The boy, we haven't seen him in a long time, so I suspect that he didn't make it maybe, but or he's moved on because you know territories and stuff. But um our girls one girl literally comes up to us even now like if we come home and we see her she'll stand like a foot away from us and ask us for food she'll come to that window right there sit there until I notice her and wait for food or if she's hungry I come outside she sits in that tree and as soon as we see her we're like okay no no problem we'll get you some food so yeah we feed them still we still take care of them for as long as they need us we will it is uh, five after two it's only five after one. This day is taking forever. It is five after one. We are still waiting to hear from our vet. And um, I just wanted to prove a point, something that I called last week on my birthday. Uh, is that my blanket you got going on there? My heated, nice, warm, cozy blanket. Yeah, so remember last week on my birthday, I said maybe I should have asked for four electric blankets because yeah I knew that that was gonna happen I knew people were gonna steal it from me and I knew it was gonna be her um regardless of our vet report which should be coming in any minute we've decided not to ride storm at all this week we're not gonna do jump club we're gonna wait and see what the vet suggests and then we're still gonna wait cuz yeah waiting is better than ruining we don't want to ruin him anyway we have exciting plans for our lesson this week Mail time. we got this gorgeous letter um this is from Nicole and she says just like Nicole Sky. Yeah, she says that she's Josie's mom. Um, I just wanted to add a quick note thanking you for being a positive influence on my daughter. On October the 18th, she turns 12 years old. Um, just a couple weeks ago, she lost her grandpa. She was super strong through it. I'm so prou proud she made fan mail on her own, all on her own to a positive group. I came home from work Sunday at 1045 and her envelope stood out. That's her envelope. I'm not even done reading this letter and I already, I, I just got goosebumps. Like when people send me stuff like this, I, I have goosebumps. 
I went through it and it brought me happy tears. Why? One, she did it on her own. Two, she tends to lead, she tends to lead to said sad things and this was positive. I'm so proud. Josie has a great passion for horses and one day I hope to provide her with more. That white fence, house, horses, etc. But for now, she wants to decorate her room. Um, I know hearing back from you all would make my daughter's world brighten. She needs positive influences and a glimmer in her eyes back. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Nicole, Nikki, for sending us this letter. I hope you don't mind it being in our vlog. Um, I'll try and verify with that with you before this um, gets posted. But already I can tell that Josie is super lucky because she has you for a mom. And I'm absolutely in love with your letter. And Josie, you got this. You got this. And, and I know how hard it is sometimes because it might look like we're always happy and we're always positive, but we're not. We just keep on pushing on, and I know you can too. Okay, so first before we open this. Yeah, let's look at this baby. It's gorgeous. Um, so I pulled out oh, a chair to sit on, and there's just a cat just sitting there. Our poor cat is traumatized for six months now, or for a year now. Ever since they became best friends, she can't go anywhere without her following. Okay, so go ahead, read us that letter. Okay, so. Oh, it's a bomb. That's okay. beautiful. It says, you rock. You guys are my favorite YouTuber ever. Keep up the amazing work. Gabby and Sophie are doing so well and getting better every day. I hope Storm feels a lot better. I can tell that Stella, Stella is doing so much better because of how well you guys are taking care of her. I really hope Lola gets better. You guys rock. Keep up the posts. I wish I could see you guys in person, but I live far too far away. And I don't know when this will get to you all, but hopefully soon. Thank okay, you, Josie. So it says, I love, I love day by day. That's uh, cute. Day day. Gabby and Storm, Sophie and Stella, Laura and Sam. Wait, don't forget And Levi. Levi. Okay. Oh, Gabby. <laughs> okay, I got a cute little letter. Aww. Oh. So pretty. Oh, it's adorable. So, so clearly lovely. Josie spent some time on this. Yes. And then she wrote a personal let for, letter for Sophie. Thanks Josie. I really like this. Thanks Josie. I hope you get a horse. And I love this cute little smiley face. Um, so the vet phoned back very promptly. And at like 2.15 we were waiting. And the verdict is... Mom worries. Mom worries for nothing, Gabby says. Um, the verdict is Storm's fine. He's fine. The vet felt, and I totally agree with him, that Storm's having pain because uh, his shoes are gone. And so he said his feet were sore, and his back is a little sore, and oh, he also said about the saddle. What did he say about the saddle? He said, like, you definitely need, need a new saddle, which we already are working on. But, yeah, he thinks he needs his shoes on. That's why he was refusing. Yeah, like, so... He only refuses because he loves jumping. Okay, so, basically, our vet wants his shoes back on. And, and I'm excited. Gabby's excited. Gabby's like... More work into yeah, so I called the farrier, and hopefully he can come soon. So, we're going to skip jump club this week. His feet are sore, and, yeah, his, he's, his feet are sore, and he's getting shoes back on. So, he's going to get pads for winter. Anyway, that is it. Oh, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for praying because it totally worked and I'm just glad I'm glad to know I'm glad to know that he's okay because he did look really off and he did look bad So um, it's the second time we've tried taking off storm shoes both times we put them back on again So I guess that's a sign for us Storm needs shoes. See you guys he's later. Done. Oh exciting lesson tomorrow. So stay tuned Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.